should be at the weekly day. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to this week's episode of Smosh Pit Weekly. My name is Mari, and I'll be wrapping up some of the best articles seen on Smosh Pit this week. Make sure to check out the links down below to see the full articles on SmoshPit.com. One of my favorite articles on the Smosh Pit this week was one with the vast photo collection of bros freaking out in a haunted mansion. I'm freaking out, man. That guy's scared face looks exactly like Jar Jar Binks. What do you get when you send four dorks into a haunted mansion? If you send a four person hump train, then you are partially correct. <laughs> Click the link below to see even more awesome pics of guys freaking out. Remember your childhood, how innocent and simple things used to be? Well, you can kiss that little fairy dream goodbye, you pansy. Put on your big kid pants because we're fucking punching that childhood right in the fucking face. 18 accidentally naughty images that might ruin your childhood. And by might, we mean undeniably. And by ruin, we mean really, really F you up. We are not sorry. Commence childhood demolishing. Tarzan equals rapper without a P. <laughs> That's just an old man licking a cat. A cute little innocent pussy cat. Oh my god. Oh god, no Japan, no! No Japan! To ruin your childhood some more, click on the link below. Bill by the science guy! Felix Baumgartner jumped out of a helium balloon from the edge of space this past week. The edge of space. How fire trucking nuts is that? That's 128,100 feet, yo. That's equivalent to 122 Eiffel Towers stacked up or a tower of 384,300 Twinkies. Where's the f***ing Twinkies? He floated up into space in a balloon. It's like up, but with science. He broke the world record for having the biggest pair of cojones ever. BAM! If you missed the Stratus jump, then this is the only video you need to see. Enjoy! Yeah, bud. Felix, you are clear to jump at your own discretion. I'm on my own. It's true. Felix Baumgartner has wrenches for hands. Watch the full Lego version of the Stratus jump by following the link below. And in case you didn't get to see the actual real jump, you can read the full article on the Smosh Pit by following the other link in the description box below. Also, answer these questions along with your comments, your questions, and birthday requests. This week was a big week for Smosh related video releases. Firstly, Food Battle 2012 went down and you must watch the video to find out if Team Ian or Team Anthony won the most epic of epic food battles in the history of mankind. Ooh. 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 Secondly, quite possibly the funniest game bang to date dropped on Friday as well. You just grabbed my gooch! <laughs> Lastly, Shut Up Cartoons launched a new series following the adventures of a recurring Smosh character, Teleporting Fat Guy. Get up, fat ass! <laughs> Teleporting Fat Guy was first seen in the Smosh video dating back to 2008, and fans grew fond of his moves and power glove. Teleporting, teleporting, teleporting fat guy, teleporting, teleporting, teleporting fat guy. Say what? You can catch the show every Friday on Shut Up Cartoons. Also, follow him on Instagram to see sexy photos of his man udders and tiny legs. <laughs> well, that wraps up this week's episode of Smosh Pit Weekly. All the links to the full videos and articles on SmoshPit.com are down in the description box below. Don't forget to comment with your answers to this week's questions, which are right here. And also, these are ways to stay in contact with me. Check out last week's episode of Smosh Pit Weekly featuring nerdy ninjas and major fails. Also check out new episodes of Super Mario Fun Time, Ask a Naked Guy, and the aforementioned Game Bang. Tune in next week for an all new episode, and until next Saturday, I hope you have a super sweet week. Mother Questions, 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 questions? Okay, if I was a zombie and had to bite one celebrity, who would I bite? Oh boy, so many choices. But I'd pick a really weak person because even though I was a zombie, I'd still be rooting for the survival of the human race. And if we had some big ass zombies like Kimbo Slice zombies running around, the odds for humans wouldn't be so good.
So I think I'd choose like Michael Sarah because he'd be like a weakish, lanky zombie. He'd be cool to hang out with. And I think we'd get along. Oh, that's a lot of questions. On the internet, I guess? Nah, neither. Future Trunks. Batman. I'd grab my sentimental things, which would include a shotgun with unlimited ammo, yo. Happy birthday this week to lovely, lovely Claudia, Susan, Brooke, Alejandro, Megan and Lex, Logan, Dylan, Jillian, Charlotte, Eric, Kathleen, Sarah, and Victor. Have an epic one, you guys. Yeah!